Paul, you're a volcanologist. How did you get into that? Um, well, I, I wasn't one of those people who was into volcanoes as a kid. Um, when I started studying geology, I liked igneous rocks. Um, and it was a natural progression, really, for igneous ro- from igneous rocks to, to volcanoes. Uh, so, yeah. Where did you done your degree? Where? I did my degree at Derby, uh, what was uh, Derby College of Higher Education at the time. And uh, I did my PhD at Luton, again, a college of higher education, now the University of Bedfordshire. Um, so, yeah, and then uh, I did a I did a series of postdocs. The first one was in Naples, the Department of Geophysics and Volcanology, working on Campus for Grey. Uh, then I worked in the Azores um, on a vo- volcano called Furnish Volcano, which was a laboratory volcano, one of the European laboratory volcanoes, uh, based at UCL in London. Um, and then I got a job back at Luton um, for several years, and I subsequently worked at Coventry University, mm-hmm. Uh, and then I got the opportunity uh, to work uh, in Montserrat, beginning in the in the when the eruption began in the first early 90s, um, sorry, in the late 90s, uh, and then um, in 2009 I got the opportunity to be to go back to Montserrat as director, uh, where I worked for three and a half years before coming to Plymouth. That must have been incredible, that actually, to be in charge of something as critical. Yeah, it, it was a it was a fantastic uh, opportunity. Um, obviously I'd worked there before and I'd seen a lot of activity uh, in the late 90s so that was kind of good because it meant that I wasn't desperate to, for the volcano to erupt yeah. <laughs> which kind of, and also I took my family with me as well so um, that was kind of interesting having your family with you in a kind of work environment um, was interesting but I was lucky in that uh, a month after I arrived there as director I uh, the last phase of activity started and uh, had, so I had four months of intense activity uh, right at the beginning of the period, and then it was quiet after that, which uh, gave us the time to, to write up the, uh, the work. And then, um, so in Plymouth, you teach, you teach obviously sort of volcanology, what, what, do you, what else do you teach? Well, I teach, I teach mineralogy uh, uh, to first years. Um, obviously, I teach uh, quite a lot of field courses, I go on field courses. Uh, I teach um, a GIS to third years, and often there has volcanic case studies and volcanic examples. Um, but geohazards as well. Yeah. I lead a module in natural hazards uh, for first years. And then, uh, and obviously on this field trip, tell us about this field trip, Edna. Yeah, I, this is a great field trip. Uh, we see a huge range of, of volcanology here, both here and also we go to Volcano. Uh, in the Aeolian Islands. Uh, obviously, Etna is predominantly effusive volcanism. Uh, my research interests have been mainly kind of explosive volcanism and pyroclastic rocks, uh, but we get to see plenty of those as well, both on Etna and volcanoclastic rocks, but also on, on, Volca- on, on Volcano, clearly we get to see more silicic volcanism uh, and vol- volcanian explosions as it's a type locality. So we get a, a huge range of volcanology, uh, and it's great for the students to come to an active volcano, see very young uh, volcanology, young volcanic rocks, uh, and really get this kind of experienced volcanology in the field, which is where it's, where it's at, really. So, so even though you're an experienced <coughs> volcanologist, do you still want the volcano to go off when you start <laughs> it and never leave it? I think, uh, of course. Uh, I mean, all, all the volcanologists want to see activity, yeah. uh, and I think it would be a bit dishonest to say that you don't want to see a vol- the volcano erupt. Um, it's always exciting uh, seeing a little bit of volcanic activity. Um, but yeah, I mean, to studying volcanoes is not just about watching watching spectacular activity. Although sometimes that you know, if you can combine the observations with actual measurements of the products and geophysical observations, then that's great. But you know, volcanoes are spectacular things.